Can you believe it's already 2023? No. Nope. <laughs> well, that's the end of that discussion. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys, and welcome back here to the channel for the very first reviewing your underwater films of 2023. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, Happy New Year, welcome to 2023 and uh, as Matthias was unhappy with me talking not enough in the intro, I will do the talking right now. Go ahead. So, um, we're going to review another video of yours and today it's going to be? It's going to be a video by Mike Perez and he's uh, show is showing us a video of the SS Antilla in Aruba and he puts out the bold statement that this might be the best wreck dive in the Caribbean. Before we watch that video, because Sebastian has really just rushed into today's video, I also want to wish you a, a very good new year. Uh, Happy New Year 2023. And I would also like to know what you guys have uh, planned for this new year. What are where you dive adventures going to take you this year? Let us know down in the uh, comment section below. I want to know what kind of videos we will be receiving this year to review within this series. So having put this out of the way, you can keep talking again. And, I can uh, keep talking. No, I keep watching now. Okay, let's watch <laughs> that movie. Let's go. Welcome to Indiana Jones. Somebody's excited. <laughs> Right, excellent. Very well done. Thank you so much, Mike, for your submission here. Sebastian, what are your thoughts? Uh, well, um, it was uh, fun to watch. I'm still shaking to the music. You're still feeling the <laughs> rhythm. <laughs> uh, it was definitely different with the, with the titles used and all that stuff. Um, 
and the uh, the rack looks quite interesting. Um, it looks actually quite big. Yeah, it looks and big. What we saw. Um, yeah. Um, there are some improvements we can talk about. Um, yeah, but maybe you want to. Should I go first? first? Yeah. <laughs> no, I can. I can do as well. It's fine. It's fine. Matter. Okay. Um, yeah. It uh, it looks like an interesting wreck, um, and it looks like uh, like you guys had a, had a good dive there. The titles that uh, Sebastian was mentioning before, I'm normally not a big fan of you know these overdone titles, but honestly speaking, the images that we saw with the titles and the music, it all kind of fitted together. So I was I was surprised, but pleasantly i i enjoyed it I, I liked watching the film it was short enough i found it wasn't dragged too long which was good because it kept me just interested long enough until the end um i did enjoy that you've integrated some uh, extra information into the clips you were giving us uh, hints on what we were seeing at the time being i would have probably included the information on when the wreck sunk earlier yeah. In the film, this is something that I would have included right at the beginning of your film. Um, but other than that, the information, that was fine. Um, I enjoyed that you were cutting to the music because it was very distinct rhythms in the music. And you really did. And you pull it, pulled it through all the way to the end of, the, uh, of, of your film. You always cut to the music, which is great. I really enjoy that. I think that's a very good way of, uh, of doing the cutting. One thing that I didn't enjoy, um, I have to mention as well, is the two photos that you've included in there and the zooming into these photos. I, I don't know who those two people were that you showed there. There wasn't any information on this. Um, maybe one of them is yourself. I, don't, I just don't know that. Um, and for me, it was a bit random to have these two, these two photos integrated there and then the zooming as well. The colors were different than the colors in your film, so it just didn't really match in there. I would have not included them, honestly. I would have just kept them out, unless you can, you can tell me why you really needed to have these um, shots in there. But I would have probably just left them out. Um, and then uh, it was would have been interesting to know what camera you've used to film this. I am guessing it was some sort of an action camera, GoPro yeah. maybe. Um, Maybe there was some room in for improvement in the color correction department. Maybe you could have done a little more on correcting the colors. I don't think they were off too much when we talk about matching colors from one shot to another one. But you probably could have um, done a little bit more in terms of increasing saturation, contrast, bringing the colors back a little bit. Um, it seemed to me that you were using light, at least on some of the shots you were. Um, on the other shots, I would have probably tried to use a red filter to get some yep, more red back yep. into into the image that would have probably helped would have also made the blue bluisher and uh yeah just taken out some of that greenish cast that was um in yep. in the film itself um most of the time so those are basically the things that that i can come up with and uh and uh, that i can give you as a as a feedback and a uh, way of improving on on this clip yeah um i mean matthias said it already you used uh, the music to your advantage uh, and it was uh, very good to do that. And uh, what you could do there is just use a little more to your advantage. Use maybe some speed ramps or some stuff like, um, like uh, I don't know, some transitions or so to yeah, just use a little even more. Um, mm -hmm. That could, yeah, that's one thing you could do. Not better, but you can could work on. Um, you mentioned the filter. Yes, uh, I know with working with the lights and filter, it's always like put it on and off but like with the filter it, i think you could definitely improve the colors for the wide angle mm -hmm. shots talking about wide angle shot i think the visibility was not that great yeah. but i would i like to see is like more a, a real wide angle shot of the wreck to 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 uh realize its its uh its size, uh, its size yeah. and 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 yeah you're right. because like i think it was not upright it was uh, lying to the side, side just to get some perspective uh but i'm not sure if that would have been possible i think mm. the the uh, the water was quite murky um so i'm not sure if that's possible but just for future wreck dives and just give the viewer some kind of uh, perspective where you are and um for the position of the lights i thought sometimes when we're using the lights when there were some um well, some was some parts of the ship were above you and and it, you, you try to light them but the the beam of the light was um too close 
uh, to the to the camera and was shining into the camera and getting getting a lot of backscatter. Mm. So that would be one possibility to improve the position of your lights to avoid um, getting that that light beam and and, and yeah. that uh, that reflection in the yeah. uh, from the from the back oh, getting yeah. backscatter. Yeah, it also seemed, if I may just quickly interrupt sure, you, it also seemed like the 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 beam of your light was rather narrow. Yeah. Um. So having a beam that is like 90 degree or wider is definitely going to benefit you and it's going to make it easier for you to just light up the scene more properly. And if you have trouble, you know, having the light too close to your camera lens, if it's really just a GoPro and action cam that you're using to film, you can always take the light off the yeah. clamp or wherever it's attached and just extend your arm and use your arm as a rather long um, sort of extension to place the light further away from the camera lens so you're getting less of that backscatter. Uh, this is a technique that is uh, actually a more advanced technique, not having the light attached to your camera, but having it separated se separated from the camera. Um, but it can really help by uh, just bringing it further away and not getting as much uh, backscatter onto your image. And the lazy yeah. version of that is use your body. You can also do that, yeah, but then you have to pay a couple of beers after the dive. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me, you still owe me a few. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Anything else, Sebastian, that we can um, pass on to Mike? No. Um, as, yeah, I think we covered everything. Um, there's some room for improvement, but uh, yeah, it was fun to watch. And I think that's all. Uh, that's all about these films. It's like mm. you, you watch it and you you, you have fun watching it, and, and we mm. had fun. Mm. And uh, yeah, now we can work on the next next one, hopefully, and and, and yep. try to to implement some of the uh, some of the tips yeah excellent yeah exactly i really enjoyed it mike thank you very much i think you've got the perfect size or the length the perfect length of the clip and it was entertaining so that was uh yeah well done on this uh, and thank you again for submitting it and li letting yeah. us review that clip here within our series as always we're going to be linking the um the clip itself as well as mike's youtube channel down in the video description below so you guys feel free to go over there have a look at his other videos that he's uh, got on his youtube channel leave a like leave a subscription say hello from us so he knows where you're coming from um, and if you have a film that you would like us to review within this series, feel free to send us the link to the uploaded film to contact at MatthiasLibo.com. And this time, I'm not going to forget it. Also, please include uh, what camera you've used to film it, what accessories, lights, filters, and so on you've used to film that clip, and where the filming did take place. So we have a bit of uh, an idea of what we're reviewing when we go through the, um, the film here and, uh, and do the review. Right now, we still have a fairly long list of uh, a couple of uh, months, like seven, eight months, that you'll have to wait uh, after you've submitted your film. This is just the way that uh, it works. We'll go one by one, and we cannot do more than one a week. And we have quite a few submissions in the pipeline already. So, uh, yeah, but this shouldn't really hold you from sending your film and uh, having us review it. We'll promise we'll review every single one. It's just going to take us a little moment to get to the films one by one. Yeah, and if you guys liked our video, just give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can watch one of your films on another Thursday. And yeah, because that's what we do on Thursdays. Yeah. Nothing we more to do on Thursdays. Get here together, <laughs> watch your films, review them, and give you some feedback on them. Thank you very much for allowing us to do so. And uh, until next Thursday, guys, again, have a great start into the new year, and we'll see you. As usual, next Thursday. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.